Scientists at NASA playing around with a flying saucer. Yeah, you heard right. It's all to test out equipment that may one day help us land on Mars. Sarah's here with more on the experiment carried out in Hawaii. We couldn't send you to Hawaii for this? No. Hello. <laughs> What's up I with know. this I'm angry for you. But I'll give you three letters. UFO. And you may have seen one if you were anywhere near Hawaii last night, which I was not. But either way, this launch is purely science. But for the layman among us, we can just enjoy the mystery of it all. The daredevil scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory are at it again. You've got to be a little crazy sometimes if you want to do the crazy things. As part of the space agency's mission to Mars, a team of scientists took their latest cutting-edge spacecraft for a test drive on Saturday. If you want to go to Mars, you want to go big, then you've got to test big here. It's called the LDSD, or Low Density Supersonic Decelerator. But if you ask the internet, their new ride to the red planet looks suspiciously familiar. <laughs> Even the brainiac rebels of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory acknowledge the LDSD borrows more than just a little from Hollywood's favorite unidentified flying object. But what else can you expect from the team whose seven minutes of terror Mars rover landing was infamously fronted by a former Elvis lookalike and a Mohawk sporting mission commander. We're safe on Mars. So although one of the parachutes didn't deploy, this experiment is considered a success and it takes us one step closer to a mission to Mars with humans. That's awesome. Yeah, wow. it's pretty cool. Loved all the cartoons in that piece. Too. Doesn't it? Yeah. A UFO yeah. harkens that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, you can't no, help you, brings you, back how, memories yeah. of childhood. How can you avoid like the 50s photos? Yeah, how do you avoid the Jetsons? I mean, I mean you know, yeah. <laughs> all right.